going on guys, James here and welcome back to more Motor Manager Mobile 2 for the 8th race of the season and we're going to Dora in Qatar for the Dora Grand Prix so and after we went to our home in Guildford we had a good excellent win, we got a good double podium we got with BB Champ we got that win from Chloe by the last half of the race but it was a close battle for that though means with Sophia Chloe and BB Champ Appears in the top three in the last race in Guildford, though are the top three at the moment with Beach Champion first, Sophia in second, Chloe in third. Charles only just three points behind Chloe, but Edge was a ditty, was only just three points behind it. But Amanda is only just one point behind Charles a ditty after her disappointing retirement in the last race in Guildford. Yeah, that's not very good for Amanda, though. For the back, Sergio fouled his inside head to Sergi Antonio and Sergio Bola of the bell. Won the team championship though, God the ways are just four points ahead of us. Just four points separated between us and the East Will Most Sports. So personal our team will be very good for this. So this personal FRT is going well for me. Hopefully my team will well. Twenty points separated between Eastwood and the CRT Autosport and then Silver Ways here at the Octane Racing. Facts are the most better than five by MRT. Dragon Race team trying ninth and then day two Potato Jim in the night. I mean, time back, sorry. Yeah, Potato Race go going last, but only just 10 points behind Drag Race Team China. I will get a good five bucks for this, but let's say this will be very good for this. But unfortunately, by the end of the season, though, we'll have to say goodbye. Some of the drivers will be leaving the European races here. That is set John Fraser will be Champ and Shaw. Also, Luigi Machetta is also going to retire as well for, for next season. Sergei so Antonov, I don't think he will not retire yet, I think. Sabato, I think he will retire by the end of the season. Um, who else? Um, everybody, I think they're fine. William Evans, think he will retire, I think. Or maybe he might join our team, or maybe not. Sergei so Valdez, Bordebel might be retiring, or maybe not. And we'll keep our drivers, yeah. So, that would be pretty good for this next season, though. But we're doing some... Team color changes for next season, though. So, hopefully, we do more progress for this. Anyway, let's go on Sophia since he's got one point available. So, we're gonna update her speed to probably this one. Focus for seven. Now, obviously, we'll get some more pace. Alright, so we're doing pretty well. See how this performances go on for this. Fonts of Sanctuary was only got one more race left to go. So, hopefully, they'll be going late race shortly, though. By the way, hopefully this will be very good for me to see how this goes. Let's take a look at the money. Oh, actually, it's very not that much in the moment, so I'm making more progress. I think Chloe and Sophia got... Oh, actually, we're winning so low at the moment right now. Let's see. Um, oh, there's nothing here. That isn't a good part for the game in T's, but no. Alright, we've got a dilemma, but I'll be right back, guys. Just give me a second, I'll pause this for a moment, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back again, guys. So, we've got a dilemma we got from my team. So, let's see what it is. James, a person from my past is friendly to release some comparative details about me. Um, of course we could do that, though. Let's do it then. Experience some. We lost seven hundred fifty thousand dollars for that. So sort out James of important issues with James, one of the best bosses I ever had. Oh, really low money for this one, guys. But hopefully we're gonna do for this for the next race in Dora. Looks like cars will be fine for this next race then. So we only got about three rounds to go. We got this way. We're heading to next. We're heading towards. Dora Qatar. We just won't miss one where we missed the Milan GP race five, but we got that for after this race. He's finished. And that'll be the next video. And that will be the last race to see in Black Sea for the 10th and final race of the season. So, hopefully, very good after the start of the first race in Tondela in Portugal, then to the Black Sea, then to Dubai and Germany. So, yeah. Anyway, let's begin this guy. It's time for the race eight, which is the Dora Grand Prix in Qatar. So, Let's see who's going to try and win this race, guys, and see who's going to take on top victory, though. So, yeah. So, what do we need? We need to let us sponsor fourth or both for Contour Telecoms, or, um... Let's, let's go with that, and hopefully we'll do fair words for this and qualify for this. 
Anyway, the UP race series is almost too close for this first season though. We might go back to this again for second season though and hopefully we'll do more progress for that. But hopefully we'll do more excellent racing we do. So, it's time to begin this race 8 which is to top. So, here's the guitar circuit for the Dora GP. Anyway, it's not that right much, but it's very good in QCC. All the level ground will be very good for this. And let's see how we're going to do for this one. With a very few low, long straights, Dora is always one of the biggest tests of the car's economy ability throughout the season. Can anyone get me fired to a party on one of those manager in the harbour? Hopefully the world's both of the crowd have got a lot of progress to do for this UP racing series for most of the manager. So, round here becomes a 10 and we've got 3 rounds up to go to see so far. So we need to qualify 4 4 four to get that spot objective. Okay, so we need to get a spot for 85 bars, but let's see if we can get them. So, here we are in Qatar, in Doha for the Doha Grand Prix. And look at this, it's very much different. So, we get the same Chloe out, and um, we'll give her a lot of speed and straight she would go through. And we'll do the same with Sophia's part as well. Full bottle is low, but it's going to be very hard to make it much higher indeed for this close session. Here. There's a lot of corners and turns where this should be dealt, but well, hopefully we'll have an extra race that is. So, Sophia and Chloe out on track right now, and they're prepared to get out of pits already now, so yeah. So, through they come out to the pits right now, and looks like they're completely safe at the moment right now, so yeah. Got a helicopter pads there, as all these cars will be very good around this door circuit for this race. So it's round eight, the 2017 Championship though, as only just three rounds ago. Shaw and B. Sham are hopefully battling for the championship together. Shaw was the, B. Shaw was the first one now, headed Sergio Apollo. Joseph Dittier is just by Sophia. As he realised he was to get past her before his her lap will be started. Amanda is out there already, so a lot of good concentrated for these top six in the championship right now. So it's a battle between Sean Fresh Rugby Champ, Sophia Bokalova, Chloe Dune, Trevia Shaw, Ellen Jones of Dittier, and Amanda Cabalan Tiki. Land Tiki. Well, it's going to be fair to see who was going to win this championship after this is finished. So, Chloe and Sophia begin the lap one now, hearing Dora. Through the hairpin turn one. That's a lot more speed we can get through this car indeed. Through the hairpin at turn three. No, that's not enough. I think actually that was another one, yeah. Alright, into the kids for the to come through into the soft fin. Edge turn, which is part of the circuit recently, then guys. And Sophia has done a good purpose in the first sector. Wow! Sophia on an excellent lap right now. He's battling with Chloe at the moment right now. As the challenge is facing 0.966 in the second sector, though. What about Sophia? Will she do the same as anybody else? Well, let's take a look at the second sector lap time is. And Going through is going much quicker though. Uh, Shaw's a good couple of sectors. Actually, Sophia now got purple with sectors the same as Shaw. As Bisham has got a 1 minute 45 point 065. But what about his teammate, Shaw? Well, actually, Sophia's having to be tense from the boat. And Sergei Antonov has beaten Bisham and got the pole. But what about Shaw or Sophia? Here comes Shaw, around the far corner, and he goes on only second. What about Sophia? She goes to, she does go on pole by just 19 tenths of a second from the circuit and Wow. 
So Pia Bogolova has got pole in OND and would it be her second pole of the season for her? This is very good after a few seasons back ago though. As you can see, all these cars are doing well. See how this new first season is doing well for this. As Luigi, wow, Luigi Machetta in the Octane Wazia has got Paul. He's that's Paul from Sofia. Wow, Luigi Machetta. Wow, Luigi on Paul. Wow. But actually, Jean Pierre Gale is actually part of Luigi in the first two sectors, actually, though. And he does go on pole, wow, get hard, on pole for Firebird MRT, wow, as you work there for Firebird MRT, he's on pole, but unfortunately his teammate, Sabado, is in 11, and unfortunately, he's, unfortunately we'll have to say goodbye to him at the end of the season though, but hopefully he had a good season for us, he's one team then. So it's Gerhard from Luigi Machetta from Cloudy Dreyfus, who moves up to fur alongside his te her teammate Luigi. Then it's Sophia Bocalufa. And Angel the Ditty are only 20th at the moment. This is not doing well for the girl in fifth place in the championship. As everybody come back to the pit again. Okay, Chloe has done very well for that lab. We might go back to Chloe back on neutral and hopefully give some more improvement to look on the car for this. Actually, Sophie will stay unless someone, uh, in, instead, unless someone will beat her lap. So, it's Luigi in second place coming into the pits. Claudia and Gerhard back facing through. And we come back into the pits right now. So Nick Chu has just come out for another lap for the Dragon Race Team China alongside Chloe Du. And if Dragon Team Race try to do it anymore, they can try to do some improvement for pre-season testing for next year. And hopefully for next season though, they'll be going more get into the top five, I think. For next season, maybe someone else in the team will come through as well. So this is race eight of the possible ten rounds of this UP Racing Series though, as Qualifies only halfway through where you've got 6 minutes and 15 seconds left of this. And this round day is going most well as these drivers are doing well and keeping it on the fold on this. So Chloe only just 10 for the moment for Persia. Yeah, no one can do it for that so he's winning 10. So Fear's winning 4. So Bukalova is doing well so far after the last race in Guildford, so he had a good, excellent third. Well, hopefully this will be a good chance for the fans to try to beat these champions in the championship chair. As Amanda from that championship lead has dropped down, she has dropped down to six in the championship after a disappointing retirement. So for May, just near the beat of the door circuit, and the Harper is looking nearer to the side. Anyway, through the hairpin goes Chloe Dune, who's running her lap again. Um, anyway, this will be a good extra first second lap of the day. And uh, this is not going to be a good lap on her. Let's see what the first it is. And it's a green, he's a blue girl lap. But well, not that much. Wide and into the white hand that she goes up to now. And towards the middle of the harbour there. It's a bit like the Abu Dhabi circuit in the US Arena when you had a good harbour there, like a good bar place there. Alright, so Fair, good luck for you. I'm going to send you around. This time I'm going to go for the go, go for new for you. Alright, so Chloe, is she improved with the second set to better or is she slowing a bit? Oh, she is improving, but actually not that much. I think she's gonna stay in tenth for a while for there if she not improved this lap. She's just gone for the airport right now. Into the canes and heading towards the five core right now. So it's Chloe. It's gonna it be a slow lap for her. Oh actually it's not, it's she, a good lap for her. She's going into seventh for Persia. Wow. Chloe execute lap from her from tenth. Of course, he's going to be slow though, but he's gone up to 7th place though, as Shaw has come out again for another lap. 
Amanda has also come out for another lap as well. Meanwhile, that's probably done. Three minutes left, and we'll hopefully just be very really good to see who's going to take pole position for the Joel Grand Prix race. So, hopefully, this will be a good excellent fight for Gerhard. Sean Fee, Gerhard is on post, too. Luigi Mascheta has just come out for his lap, though, but I don't think he's going to prove the lap indeed, but he's coming to piss, actually, though. By the way, hopefully, this will not be excellent work for Octane Racing, indeed. As for this game goes to fear, so just two minutes left, and this will be our final lap then on this cover. So it does, and if you begin to lap right now, that would be very good and see the dough to part of enough. So, yeah, Chloe returns to the pits right now. Well, Sophia on her last lap of the session. Okay, so just gone through that shock fin there. And he's not improving the first sector though. I don't think Sophia has to grip out there to try and try and stop them. But what about Bisham? Strong points for Bisham is in P10 and he's only got about one minute left and he's on his lap right now. He's actually on a lot out lap right now. But when we see he's in this case right now, he's through the circle there for the roundabout. And I don't think can he make it to try and beat John French, John French to beat the other strong here. Try to try and beat John Pierre Gerhard for a pole. So it will be fire MRT for Gerhard to go on pole. Or would it be Bisham? Man, he's starting that one now. Oh, so fear not an extra lap from her. I don't think she's not going to be proven to do it. I've already had to call Queen's call ring up as he does. So that's a terrible lap then from Sophia. So he's in fourth place still. I let it so someone could beat that to lose our sponsor and check on target. But we're gonna find out later on. Sergio is not improving the qualifying end. The time is stopped right now. So who will be on pole for the Doro Grand Prix? This is a close card on improving now. Charles improving. See might that that fourth place for Mars and sponsor and check. So here they come. Shark cross the line and he goes into six. But Amanda up into third and she's knocked out our previous target to get a four. Wow, Amanda in third. After a disappointment date in Guilford has got a slash back for this. Banyan in six. Robbie Evers crossing the line. No one's there as. What about Beast Sharp? Chris Strong points for Beast Sharp trying to beat Gerard get into top five. He can't! Only just 10, actually, though. Oh, dear me. Sean first will be the Champions League. Only 10 with his teammate shot behind him in 9th. And Sophia on the 11th. And Chloe in 5th with Amanda in 3rd. And, uh, and where is Edge on Aditya? And yeah, we were so close to get that 4th place. Never mind. Where is Edge on Aditya? She's only 8th. So, looks like Fixer. Oh, Motorsport and Octane Racing have dominated this one in Qatar. So, looks like everybody else just far back from this one though. And World of Metal only 18 at the moment, unfortunately though. So, yeah. A bit disappointed a bit by qualified today. I felt I could get more out of the car. Didn't even make it to change that tomorrow. Oh, I see Aqueous is in Qatar. So, the piece of what say in the media says, I hear that a room in a Marina Sai Hotel costs more than £1,000 a month. No chance of us staying here on our Music XPC store budget, though. There are a couple of really tricky corners here in Dora. The first hairpin in particular are not to get down there in a car and be able to go. So we have like that big one two winner we had last some races ago. But here we are in race number eight in draw. So from foot here Gerhard, we got Bernie Luigi. So Amanda, uh, the two-time race winner of the is he a two-time race winner? No, he's not. The winner from Milan is in third. Um, who else was the winner? Edge of the two-time race winner. 
one is Black Sea and our Denise means he's got eight. And John Fence will be used for the four-time race winner is God in ten. So will we have a new one or will we have an older one? So it's an eight and a half waist distance then. So we'll start off driving in the soft tires though and hopefully we'll change to the hard tires at the end of the race and then we get some more food. By then, I find the coming late, so let's do it then. Let's begin this one. Here in Qatar. Here we go then. The eight front seat so far for death. For the light. And the double Grand Prix gets on the way with Jean Pierre Gerhard gets on the way well. Looks like we're a good start there. Oh, a bit slow for the back of the field though. As who's going to need the first corner? Look like Sophia is at a good start. There's just something to second place of red day. And he's trying to the race here from Pierre Gerhard. But here comes the boat. Otte okay, Wade Luigi now takes the lead from Gerhard. He doesn't mind they take back third from Sophia. The three moves of the play. Here comes Manion in the Fetch and Mongo. And he makes the plays as well. And so is Jonathan Dickier. Wow. As we saw that Jean Pierre Gerhard takes back the lead from Luigi. So it's Gerhard Lee. Luigi actually and Manda now moving up to the second place. He's having a fight with Luigi as they head towards the harbour. Uh, it's a little, I think Luigi will have the pace there. Yes, I think he will. But it's the whole lead. Second for Luigi. Third for Amanda. Fourth for Banyan. And it's a bit of a foul going to take place between Cloudy Grayforce, Cousin Dittier, Grayforce. And Shaw and Mr. Jay had a second answer off there. And uh, Anton wants to make a move on both John and Sophia. And the, and he made the move, wow. So it is to be close when we can it's do try and back with Amanda there for second place. So super versus Octane Racing though, but I don't think that's gonna change for that though. Coming through at the end of the first lap though. So it's Sean Pierre Sean Pierre Gehol from the region, Manchester, from Amanda Caventi, from Fanion, from Jose Dittia, from Shaw. Actually Shaw is from him down, but he he's only taken by Great boss and second answer off though, they're going to give way and Shaw, why would the front run run for the he's trying to get the field. Oh my word, the championship league is having trouble here of this race here in Qatar. This is really crazy, this is going to be a crazy race for this race. It's John Pierre Gallagher of Luigi, and then Amanda is trying to get past Fania for third, and she keeps that first still. Okay, so here's the replay to start again. So, Looks like Gerhard made a good start there at the start of the race as Luigi trying to get past him for the first car. Sophia made a blasting start uh, from fifth. She made a good move to move up to second for a while to as he moved down the field as she tried to get a make a move on John Pierre Gerhard but then Luigi took the lead from Gerhard and uh, Amanda was battling with Sophia as well but hopefully that would be not better for that as we can have a look at this replay again so... Looks like Chloe had a bad start for the bat. Both of the guys waiting had a terrible start there with Jot and B. Sham. Her all made them have lots of places for the start of the race though, as you can see a lot more cars going through the first corner. So William Evans didn't see that what was going on there, and you see the corners going through and see how this goes along for that track as it's going much better. We're now heading towards the harbour part, which is this part then, which is um, maybe that might be a comfortable decision about this one because looks like it's a bit good. We see a bit of battle there going for second place. Does Luigi took second for Amanda? She got past him. Charles and Dittia in P5 at the moment right now. Fanny in P4. Uh, Drake Foss doing fifth, sixth place at the moment right now. As well, it's a bit of a bad for this field. There's some fears in seven, but actually she gets past. She's been overtaken by both second and third shot. And then her teammate, Chloe, who moves up to the ninth place. So Sophia now in tenth now, and Chloe up into ninth. Only just made two places from the start of the race. So Sophia has a fight back on, on Chloe, and she does it. Through they go into the roundabout hairpin as the 
Luigi is in second place. John Pierre do have the lead for Fiber MRT. Had the Luigi Machetta. Third place is Amanda Capenti. Fourth for Editor of Aditya. Season four. Fifth for Fania. Drake for six. Sergey Antonov seven. Shot eight. Sophia nine. Chloe did ten. Then he's John French Rock Beast Champ in eleven. There will might be a bit of a bad uh, to go through this race though here in Qatar. Well, this has been very crazy this one because Octane Racing has been better than Garda and the Persia team, but looks like very good with that. Here comes Sophia on trying to get past Sharp and she does it well. Not making a bit of contact there and she does make it. Alright then, that's a good move for that though. So, first is Stu Gerhard, second for Luigi Machetta, third for Amanda, fourth for um, it's part of the 4th of 3 between Fanny and Dreyfus and Antonov, then it's Jonathan Ditya from Sophia, then it's Char, actually Char and Bichard on back with Chloe, then Sophia, but looks like they have more advantage to make the pace right as Sophia took back the position from Char. Luigi and Amanda closing the gap to Sean Pierre Gerhard to come to the end of lap 3 right now, through the right hand to the far corner right now. And it looks like the gap is just onto a second then, so 50 laps to go. So that's been a good move there. And strong first drop each has the fight all the way so far. And it looks like they're trying to make a move on Sophia then. The champion is making a move then. Gets past Sophia and on the move on edge of the ditch here as well. And he has it. And he's up in some place right now. Here comes Sophia on the move on edge of the ditch here for eighth place. As we try and make a fight back for this. And so is Chloe on the million shot to take back 10. Well, pretty much better for this. Here comes B-Shot on the move on Dray Force. And he, and he gets past her. And he moves into the play right with Claudia. We're all trying to get the position back from him. Oh, Sophia spawn! Oh, no. The second time this season, Sophia made a mistake. And now he's jumped down for the and he's the... And he's... And, oh, that's a little bit That's how far this throws. So you far this is a love of now. Sophia is having trouble out there. Uh, let's see what happened to Sophia. Oh, she lost it through the harbour section then, so she spun like a happy in Black Sea, so that's her second spin of the season so far. Here comes Chloe, he's up, he's up to a pillar, having him trying to make a move on the back of some place with B-Shot, the on a move on Cloudy Drake Force, who's trying to get past, so he adds that, she just gets past him. So, Cloudy, up into fifth place, head the Sega Angela, um, oh, 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 she's coming to pits actually though, so, and so is Fanny and then, so both of the women driving into pits, through their pit to one then, so he's throwing, battling with Shah and Bichat, so I'm making it back to it, he's having P5 at the moment right now, so yeah, so I feel like he's a good fight back for this. Remember, we put it on the hard tires for the end of the race. So, we'll be able to fire up the racing right now. So, it's still the top three. We've got Tom Piergel from the Luigi Machetta and third place is Amanda Defense. From second Anto in fourth, then it's fifth is Bishan. Probably in sixth, seven for Jar. Jordan did it in eighth. Sergio Fowler is in 9 and Sophia Buckle over the top 10 of the Big 2 from Aron Mello. Then it's Sergio Fowler from Dray Force and he's just a close stop. Then it's Santa Angela the Fanny over there and the Bell, Sabato, Tango and Willie Evans who's the last five. Two of the chains, they go through as one of the top 3 of the chains is set there as Chloe Doe, Ronnie Six. And a bit of a time crunch is there, but I think we can like stay out there for more and more though. Yeah, we'll let it out for more and more before we even come into the pit already, so... Wait for her to come into the pit already so far, and I will give you some of the serious part indeed. Um, put some car tires. Hopefully, this will take them to the end of the way. Yeah, time to be a bit of this, but that's fine for this. 
Ooh, it looks like Shaw. He's on a bit of a move at the moment right now. So some some Pierre Gales do these heads of Peter Shepard's in second place down at the college gym. Then it's Shaw from Luigi from He's on New Me Time. He's gonna have a try for winning this way and get ahead of Shaw and try to beat Sean Pierre Gerhard for the pit stop. Well, it's gonna be a tricky challenge to get him for the first two cards. Uh, Exit the pairs at turn three it is. Sophia attempting, but Luigi is making a move. But he's trying and Sophia's tile almost won out then, so they need to come into the pit before their cars run out. Oh, that very tough is lost for Sophia. Unfortunately, we will have to wait. So, for the airplane to come. Oh, he's just 50% of the tires left now. So, let's put the both fans and drop your gear in the pit. So, is the champion so the and the race leader into the pit. So, he's our both drivers. So, it's a four lead to wear until he probably gets out. And first, he does so. Oh! And it's been a collision there between Shaw and and Shaw has been collided with Machetta. And that uh, might be both. So Shaw is collided with, with Machetta there. Would it, would it be that both their races over if they might have a penalty for that? The other investigation right now. John Pierre Gerhard is doing the lead by the head of Shaw and Luigi battling for second place though. So, Green Rose so far is trying to make a move on Santa Ana. This is about to throw and she just gets past her. And that's why I need to try to right now. I don't think it work for this. Just waiting if Luigi or Shaw will go try to prepare you for that. Uh, he's given no, at least no investigation I think it would be, so there's no investigation for that though, so it's fine at the moment, so it's from Pierre Gales to the end of his channel, I think the second player has a Luigi in third, and it's showing for the second answer, while the rest of the film stops his yet. And this is a place where we have a lot more data for this, let's try a little bit, he's coming to pick. His time might have enough right now, so... And hopefully Cody gets more precision. But it's Beast Chad that takes the lead of the race here. So, Trump here goes. Trump friends got Beast Chad. He's finding the lead again. For the goal. Bob Bray. He's now waiting for his win. So he's got a win for that. Yeah. Could he get his fifth win of the season so far? Because he won the last one to give it. I think he beat, I think he beat Chloe to the win. And now will he win again with him? Yeah, I'm comfortable leading the champion of the team, but he's a good lead for that. But Chloe isn't going to get there. But Sophia looks like she's struggling out there, but it looks like I might need to push her very much. We're going to let to attack a bit. I'm trying to get four of these moves to the tank. He gets past there for 16. Okay. Oh dear, just go for it. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, sorry about that one. Because my sister Abby was got very annoyed and mad for me. So I don't want to tell you about that, guys, but you know. Let's get back to this race time, guys. So, he's trying to be the race head of Trumpia Gerhard, where he's leading third. Had a second accident on Amanda Valentine, who is a 2000 and straight 14 seconds. That's it, Chloe. Trying to get past her, but I think that's not making moves just yet, though. Thank you. 
because of no one now for the positive reason now to the Paul Rangers, Jordan starting 16. Camille, he's too busy in the well, Miller, he's too busy in first place at the moment. He's Kimmich, he's having to leave the race though. Possibly even him. Yeah. Over 25 seconds now the gap here. Now, between Jar and Trump, French Rob Champ. And the very major move on. Thank you, Johnson Dickie, for the top play. As Johnson Dickie takes it to the bottom of the top five, but no, it's a pass. So, fair, as far as I got past, and Johnson Dickie for the top play. Now he's making a move on. So, yeah, because Dickie has a top to show. Here comes So, fair on a move on. Sergio Abolia, and this time he got past Dickie as well for Sergio. So, Make sure the drug is cheap, don't drop down the field well. So it's time to add that. So fair, man, get a good pause of these two cars. Just move over to my place already. So. Lap 10 begins. And it's been starting first. Head of Don Pierre Gerhardt. First, Luigi Machetta. Head of Sergei Antonov. Then the man of Fidelity. Head of Chloe Du. And it's Sergio Faglia. Head of Claudia Dreyfus. Then it's Sophia Bokiorova in 9th, head of in 10th is Sergio Abolia, head of Fanny and Lennon and Shaw having a battle on his over the field as well as he moves up the fields as well. Claudius still in 8th play, well Chloe is in 6th play and we like Claudius making a move on Sergio Faldius for 7th, so that's the ultimate part of the set of the ultimate spot and she got him. So, Claudia Draper, up in seven plays away right now, means Sergio Fowler next up is Sofia Bocorosa. Third battle for third between Luigi Machetta, Sergio Antonov and Amanda Cavalenti for that final podium position spot. Big and Chloe to join the fight as well. And just eight laps to go, we will exit your way to the car. So. For this, so it's gonna be a hard to which one do we win this race? But there's only a few laps left to go, there's only six laps remaining right now. 
And that's all. Oh, the big goal of Pierre Gerhard. Look at that. He's struggling. And he lost it. Third place to Amanda Kipaletti. She's only the third. And trying to make a move on the league. But actually, she's coming to the pit. And so they said the answer on me. The position has moved on much easier there. She still has a strong second trouble here. And he's still, he's still come out in the league still. 30 seconds for Luigi. He's running really out of leading tyres. And the media are way off for this for the OK rating driver. And he third is Luigi. It's from Pierre Gerhard on hard tyres. He's having a look on Luigi and he gains the second place. Wow. Trump again, back into P2. Luigi is up. Hold him off. No, he can. He has to send him to the third moment. So. They got him slowly. On the move of Luigi as he gets past him. To move his car up into third. So that's a good one for my driver, Chloe. To move her so up into P3. So yeah. For the double left hander. Through to left. This is going to be a good, excellent race. This is going to come to the end of this. So it's only, oh, so Fizz only got 20% of his car because this is left. As he's winning the race in P5, and he's got it to go. So, yeah. Okay. So, Sophia, as the region is coming into the pit and waiting for the news, yellow will soft time, he goes on to. So hopefully this will go along to the end of the race. Charging 9 and Johnson GP 10. So we're going to pick up the okay? Okay, we're pit for side tires. More side tires for this, yeah. Alright, doing well to keep the offensive alive. And so we can see that. Um, you know he's only got 28% left for the tire there, right? Um, he might get go, might stay for one more lap, I think. So yeah, this is gonna be an extra good close game to race now. We we'll just back one minute, and hopefully, I'll go to the first pitch of later on. Okay, we're back again. So off we go then. So I'll try to for the four, but yeah, let's get these first cars on quickly, then, Sophia. Let's go on to the soft tires. So the tires only to three percent. Hmm. Is that going to be worried? Is there any other fire left to go? I think it might get to the end of the race, I think. With a car a bit damaged. Fair way. This will be very close to the end of the race, though, so yeah. For there, Pins, it goes through. So, for the car, we're going to be back. This is the moment of. Four laps remaining right now, and I've got a lot to work to do. For these last four laps right left. P7 is heading to his sixth win of the season so far ahead of Jean-Pierre Gerhard and the man who moved back into third place though. Sophia and Chloe, where is Chloe going to drive? Is he going to rejoin fifth I think? Is he going to rejoin the racing P5? He, he, he does so. See, he rejoins in fifth. So, well done to Chloe there. He rejoins in P5. Sophia rejoins in ninth. So, oh, bit of a spin there. That was Sergio Valdez. He has made a mistake for Celotti Autosport and his teammate their belt is 14, he's in 14, so not doing well so far for the RT on the spot. So that loses up position to Luigi there, as he's now got Sophia and Sergio Paul behind her. And Sergio is overtaken by Sophia as he moves up into eight place there. But Sophia has a lot to push try to get past Sergio Avila. Can't get the fans to Eastwood Mold, but it's not match to the purge of team. And she gets past him. It's a little like she's making a move on such a foul day. And she gets into third place. What an extra move that was for Sophia Bogolova. As Mima Chloe gets past Sergei Antonov for that fourth place now. So. Only just three laps to go. As Peter is heading towards victory here. We're just three laps remaining. In second place is Jean Pierre Gerhard, head of Amanda, in third. And in fourth place with cheers. Chloe does, she's had to set the first lot of the way so far. What actually like that is from Chloe. She's only got three laps to go. 
Here comes Sophia on the soft tire, not fit to do the best like she can. So, B is trying to take it towards victory if he keeps it if he keeps this up. He could do it and win this way and through this. Here in Qatar is Dora. Oh. Oh, bit of a major mess from Sophia. The like her car is letting her down a bit, I think. So And oh no! Shaw has retired! Oh that's his first retirement of the season so far. Jaw is out of the race of 44. God wins because his team at B Sham can win this race for God wins if he keeps this up. Or maybe he might join his teammate because Jaw has a problem and has to be tired to call before he does. Okay, we might pick the film for this so the car is getting badly wet though, so. We have to let her come into the film for this so she might not make it to the end unfortunately, so. Of course, he will be at the point of force, so he will have to pick the car up, unfortunately. So, Sean, unfortunately, it's game over for him, and he's out of the way here in Qatar. But anyway, he's still a beast, shoving in towards the production of the race, though. We've only got two last remaining of this Dora Grand Prix, as close as he's back up a mantle for that third play. Well, he's a 30% left of the car left, so. Hopefully this will go in well for her. She can do well to try and get past her. Mm. Unfortunately, so many prepared the car approximately. <laughs> Sorry for that guy. My language mistaken then. Fair way. Unfortunately, she needs to fix the car. Well, unfortunately, that will take a, a lot more down for the price. She's going to be doing for the back of the field, unfortunately. She's going to be doing 50, I think. Yes, he does. Only 50 as Amanda gets overtaken by Chloe Jones. He's now over to the podium spot still. Chloe is in third place as he gets past Amanda. But Amanda trying to get the position back from Chloe. Oh, it looks like Chloe has the pace he needed. And he does get past her. But we have a little shot. Oh, actually, Amanda gets the position back from Chloe. And now Chloe is dropped on four. As a bit of a bit of and made way back as well. Or oh, getting close here in the race though, as here comes Trump first one piece champ. On this way, on the far lap of this way, is the last lap of this Dual Grand Prix here in Qatar for the Dual to pay. So, this is getting close for Pierre's like going six for the season so far. See if you can do for this. Well, remember, B Sham won the last race in Goofer in race seven. It was a good home race in Bayern, my race then, guys. But it's Qatar and Dora for race 8 though, as we call over last night's son on the podium with Amanda and try to get past some big girl for second place. Oh, she's going for it for third. Oh, this is a bit of a bad between Amanda and Chloe there. And Chloe gets to get past Amanda as she does get past her. Chloe up into the podium. And we didn't have a run on the last night move on Champion Girl before the line for it. First one will be showing him towards 50 again for his sixth sprint for part of the racing and hopefully he's been excellent for this race indeed. He's going towards the round back section of Nicholas Chloe. He's, he's closing the gap to John Pierre Gial for that second place job but out in front, still in the lead, John Fletcher will be shot, has won five races and this will be win number six to his season career. Pisha wins the Dora Grand Prix. Again, he has finally won again. Well done to him. Well, that's going to be his fifth win, actually, though. Fourth, actually. Anyway, Gerhard takes second place, actually, though, from, from Chloe. So, John Pierre Gale gets second place for Viper MRT. Good excellent result for that. Chloe facing third. Amanda Caperti facing third. Hey, so good Antonov in third. Luigi Bersetta facing sick head of Claudia Draper. Good five for points for team racing. And Sophia will... Oh, 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 Sophia just beat the bird by the end of the race. Wow. Sophia beating the bird by the close margin there. Has got past her. And she's facing 12. What a good five back that is. So unfortunately, only 20 of... Edge of the picture faces with a 30,000 men and Sabato to pick the top 10. But it's Beach Hub's Day here in Doha in Qatar. So that is race 8 done around the harbour of Qatar and what excellent race that was. 
So yeah, Qatar is very much better for me to see how this track goes along for this. For side the 24th of April 2021, yeah. So we got Purge Media again. That was a good two shot strategy that was for this. Most of them off for one shot strategy, and that was Sergi Ebola and any more than we do this on the hard ties indeed. But anyway, we got another Purge Chloe in third, 18 points. Sean Fier, Pierre Gear P2, and third is two. Sean Fresh will be Champ, who win again. Well, it's an extra race that won. Unfortunately, his teammates John Ford will be tired for this race, though. But Godway had one card to face the race already. The other one had, did not. Sean Pierre Gale, good exit. Both Sean Fierce, uh, one, two, Fierce. Well done for these two. For Sean Pierre Gale and Sean Fresh will be Champ. Means he's drawing the championship right now, which means that. John Fresh is still leading the championship at the moment right now, with only just two rounds remaining. And if he can try to beat Chloe and Sophia, he might get hit another title. That's his fifth win of the season so far, not actually six wins, actually, though. While in the team championship, though, we're leading the championship now. We're leading the team championship by just two points for God of it at the charge of time. I mean, we're now leading the team championship with just two rounds left. Each with most more in third of. So the RT also spoiled the Arctic Racing in fifth. Silver Racing only seen had the fix of most spoiled that he's failed five by MRT at the Drag Race Team China. And Predator Race to in tenth. Well, third back, Amanda moved up to fourth. John moves down to sixth play after in who was waiting for after the last race in Guildford. But it was not a good day for that though. I want to see Project FT at the top. I love these guys. Chloe doing in so hard in love. Holly Stein want to see how Chloe want to win this race. Hopefully, we can see what I do. But she's trying her best. Look, we're having a good progress for the rest of the season itself. So, hopefully, we'll be doing well after this race. So, yeah. Let's simulate with the other championships as well. We'll be coming into that next stop. So, we'll get extra way that was in Katar and in Doha. Here are the world's most tragic Gilford, region in the ways in the series of the Cup. So, in that British way, Harry Chapman won the way, had his nearly seven year and Rick D. Gareth won the Ember Pacific Super Cup. I mean, like Gavis Acosta won the way, had the Carl Acosta. In third was Gilliam and Amanda there. means that Gavis Acosta is still in the championship by just seven points from his teammate, and Jessica Moore was in third had uh, Gilliam and Amanda there. So, yeah, that's probably not better for that though. But remember, the point is to won't be staying with this like this all the way. Yeah, I think they'll be doing for that, yeah. Just heard from a friend I got away that hope they got some new brakes. Hope what other ones are better. Sweet, five better money to bring some new brakes to Milan. Cool. That will be up to the next. We didn't do that video, unfortunately, for the Milan GP because we missed that one, unfortunately, we didn't not do. So, we got the fourth point, we got the sponsor, we only lost $257,000 from Qatar, so we only got about $2.1 million, $2 million left on our objective for this car, so hopefully we did very well for this one though, so yeah. So that's why it's complete right now, so yeah. All the guys doing well, see how this progress will do well for next season then. But guys, thanks for watching this race time here in Dwayne, Qatar. I know I've been acting for a really good really That. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll head back to Milan in Italy for the Italian Grand Prix race. So, so we've been to Milan, but we'll do it for that race Monday. Yep, so yeah, we're gonna go back to Milan again for round nine, and hopefully, we have a good exit progress for this to go back to Italy again. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video, guys, and we'll see you next time for the penultimate round of the championship in Milan. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time.